Good morning, how are you? So I'm back, I'm in my new house. You have to hang tight. I will show you around the kitchen later. It is the morning before school and obviously we are still in the moving in process even though we are in. So everything goes away and it looks neat and then suddenly a load more stuff comes in and is everywhere. So I need to have a little sort out and tidy up and I will show you around the kitchen later. So obviously the move in weekend has been so busy, such hard work, really stressful. Um, every time you forget just how much there is to do, you think that you're nearly there and just those little things that are left take forever. So um, we're in, lots to do still, but anyway, the exciting part. So the weekend food wise, I'm just writing that off, drawing a line under it because I'm not even gonna bore you with what I had, but none of it was on plan. So I went shopping last night, I went to Aldi, I filled my fridge up and what have I done? I had end of a long day where you really can't be bothered and all I wanted to do was put my pajamas on and go to bed. But anyway, I went about half past eight, I think to Aldi and I stocked up on a load of food and I had a little bit of a batch cook when I got home. So I've made myself some overnight oats for breakfast. I don't know if you can see in there. So there's 40 grams of oats a Muller Lite Turkish Delight yogurt and I bought some frozen raspberries and strawberries from Aldi. They do the forest fruit ones where you get it or summer fruits where you get them all in one but there's a lot of little um, I think blackberries and black currants in there. They can be quite sour and I don't always fancy that level of sour for breakfast. So I've just gone with raspberries and strawberries and then I also batch cooked a tuna pasta so that I just boiled up some pasta. I've mixed in a tin of tuna sweet corn peppers, cucumber, red onion, and a couple of tablespoons. Well, I made a huge dish. So I think there's about four tablespoons of um, Hellman's lighter than light mayo, which is a sim per tablespoon going in there. So I've got some food prepped for the next couple of days, which is good. And this evening, I'm gonna be cooking spaghetti bolognese. So we're gonna be doubling up on the carbs today with double pasta, but that's just how today works out. Um, so yeah, yeah, so last night as well, I boiled up some eggs. So I have my pot of boiled eggs in the fridge, which I am super excited about because they are a really handy snack to have. Um, me and boiling eggs in the air fryer, just I didn't always get them right, so it was easier not to do them. So I've stocked up. I've got my pasta for lunch for the next few days. I've got my boiled eggs and I've made overnight oats. So I'm feeling quite on top of it today and ready to get going. I'm gonna get going now because it is school run time and I will be back and I'll show you around my new kitchen. I am going to do garlic bread for Mark and the boys. This garlic bread is five sins per slice. This is an Aldi one. Good evening, how are you doing? I am now preparing dinner. Tonight we are having gammon. We're gonna have gammon, egg and chips. I'm more excited than I should be about frying an egg. <laughs> I think we might actually have some pineapple rings too. I bought some pineapple slices. I'm gonna see um, what the sins are on these and I'll let you know. So we're gonna have gammon, egg, chips, 
pineapple slices, probably peas and sweet corn for a little midweek dinner. Low sim value. Settling into the new kitchen now. In fact, I've just had a little tidy round and everything's looking okay. So I think I might show you around a little bit. Come take a look at our new kitchen diner. Um, obviously, we still have some bits and pieces around, but we are actually getting quite organised now. Um, but first, I'll take you to the bit I'm most excited about, my oven. So we have got this Smeg dual fuel oven. So I've got my nice double oven and then I like the single oven because that's just good for using the toaster. And if you just want to cook a little something rather than putting the whole oven on. Um, obviously, we have gas top, which is amazing. I'm so happy with that. And yeah, this is just the rest of the kitchen. It's lovely to have the space around. And then I've got this lovely big area here for prepping food. And we have a table to actually sit and eat dinner, which is amazing. It's been so lovely to get in this space and I'm really excited about cooking and prepping some different meals. I'm doing gammon tonight and I put my gammon in the oven. Like I probably would usually air fry it, but it's in the oven just because I can put it in the oven. So that's going to be really nice. I'm going to make some chips, cut some potatoes up in a minute. So we're going to have that with chips, peas, sweet corn. And yeah, that will be tonight's dinner. I'm just going to take you through my fridge because I've done a bit of shopping the other night and had a little stock up. So we'll run through what I picked up at the supermarket. I've picked up a few new things I haven't tried yet um, this week. So I'll also run through those. So obviously one of the exciting things about moving is having a lovely big fridge um, we've gone for an American fridge freezer, so there is loads of storage space on here, in here. And I did go and stock up on some bits and pieces this week. As I show you at the beginning of the vlog, I cooked a big tuna pasta salad, which I have been using for lunches this week. I've got my usual kvargs, kvargs, which I love. And then I have picked up, because I went to Aldi, some of their Brooklier light yogurts, which are similar sin value, I believe half a sin, but I'll put it on the screen as the Muller Light ones, and I've used those this week to make my overnight oats. Flora Lighter Than Light, that is the spread I always go for, which again is a low sin spread. I will put the sin value on the screen. Now, you may think I'm a bit weird, but I do like to have some pickles and stuff in my fridge. So this time I've got a sliced beetroot. I always find these sort of things really handy for when I'm cooking dinner and I'm hungry. I will sit and eat beetroot, pickled onions, gherkins, that sort of thing. And I've got a big pack of ham here, which I'll often have to go with that. And my boiled eggs. I am happy to have a stock of boiled eggs in my fridge again. These keep for a good few days and they are handy as a grab and go sin free snack. Got some spag bol left over, which Mark will probably have. That's from what I made last night. And then I've stocked up on a few veggies. Got my usual stock of baby bell lights here because again, they're a very handy snack. Three of those for a hex A. One of uh, two of the things I've picked up this week. I picked up some of these Warburton's seeded thin bagels. Um, I popped them in the freezer because I don't know when I'm going to have them, but they're handy to have. And these are a Hex B. I'm excited to try these. I'm thinking maybe some Philadelphia light and cucumber um, on them toasted will be really, really nice. And I also picked up a Aldi Essentials wholemeal. This is a full size wholemeal loaf, so it's great for making your sandwiches. I keep it in the freezer because I'm the only one who eats this. So I'll just take out a couple of slices and as and when I need them, which is much better than getting the whole thing out. I've also got in my freezer my Weight Watchers wraps. These are a Hex B also. I keep them frozen and then I will just zip lock the ones once they're open and take one out as and when needed. And up here, I picked up some frozen fruit at Aldi this week. So I've got raspberries and strawberries. They are for making my overnight oats. I also picked up these this week, which I wanted to share because I think they look really nice. So this one is Indonesian nasi goreng and this one is a Spanish paella. There's a little recipe on the corner there of things that you can add to make an actual meal out of these. I can't remember which way round it was, but I believe one of them was one and a half and one was two and a half sins for the whole packet, which I thought was really nice. So I'm quite excited to try these. Like I say, you can either make the meal option there or just eat it as it is as a lunch or a quick and easy snack. 
I also picked up some of this Bramwell's chicken in white wine sauce in white sauce. This is from Aldi and it was someone on here who recommended this to me actually. So I thought that looked quite interesting and now I've just checked the sins and I've totally forgot when I've just come on here. I think it's something ridiculous, like one sin for the whole can. So I'm thinking some sort of pie or maybe a wrap done in no. the oven to make no. kind of a toasty type thing. But I'll see, I'll definitely be doing something with this next week. I also always stock up with this golden vegetable savoury rice every time I go to Aldi. It is something ridiculous, like about 28 pence. I don't know, might have gone up 30 pence, something, but really, really cheap. Um, you can get enough rice out of this pack for a couple of people and the pack is sin free. So it's another good thing to maybe make up and keep in your fridge to add for lunches or add salads, whatever you fancy doing with it. It's a great one to pick up if you're going to Aldi. Just weighing out some pineapple rings. These are two and a half sins for 100 grams. So I've got two rings on there and that yeah. is 79 grams. So we're not even making two and a half sins there. I'm quite happy to add them to my dinner.